All right, so uh, Mark and I are, um, can we say, ass deep like in the uh, changes of the book. We got the we got the manuscript, which looks like... Well, it's actually it's the proof. Really. That's the proof. It's not the... Yeah, thank you. It's not the yeah. manuscript. So here's the actual book, which was exciting to see, like to actually see in, in like real, real book-like form. Uh, and then Mark, bless his heart, read the book. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? When I picked it up to read it, I said to Andrew, this is so weird. I don't think I've read this thing cover to cover. I mean, if you read them, these like these little pockets, and they, they're all out of context. And suddenly, you sit there and you read the book from beginning to end. It's like it's shocking that we did this. And 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 also like stuff moves around as well. You know, like the like the publisher will put it, in, it well, the editors of the publisher will say, you know, well, this block should go over here. And so we haven't read it, you hadn't read it in sort of full context. So then, so then we end up with a. Um, um, with the book, and Mark has gone through and made an a ton of suggestions, which which is awesome because he caught a whole bunch of typos, and um, we just thought it would be interesting if you want to watch us go through the typos. I don't know why, but maybe you would, because it's part of writing a book. This is kind of like a teaser, rather than actually getting substance from the book. You know, <laughs> little uh, look at how we misspelled this word. You're gonna you're gonna get it one line at a time. <laughs> Dribbled out. So it's not even one. It's like one freeze at a time. Yeah. So we won't be offended if you stop watching now. But uh, if you're interested in having us argue out whether it is what you just, in fact, the argument you just missed is whether it was enamored of or enamored with. Because, yeah. And I'm so, holding you know, out. These things don't occur to you when you're actually writing the book. It's only when you get the proof and you go like, oh, wait a second, which one is this? And then the one that we were just arriving at. Let's see. What did we have? We're, we're, before you told me that we should record this. Uh, oh, oh it's down. It, it was down is it here. Well, duh. Is that where? We're oh yeah, yeah. We're on well, duh. Yeah. <laughs> if you follow the highlights of where we are, yeah. So that put. So where was that? One fifty-seven. Uh, let me just find it here. One. So what you're seeing here, by the way, in, in the first column is the page number. The second column is the paragraph number, or at least some sort of identifier on the page. Then what it is and what it should be, or you know what what we suggest. Well, what Mark suggests. No, that's right. So far. Uh, so 157, which I think is this page, yeah, so there should be well done, here it is. <laughs> so obviously this is a part that I wrote. <laughs> so having to click the link twice as if you search, click the search result intermediate, it says go to this site. Well, don't, well, we need something that says, did you put something in there or just remove it? You see, we, we yeah, need something that... It seemed, character. It seemed a little bit too... Blunt. It's too blunt. Okay, well, how do I mean, we... Yeah, if we soften it up, it's fine. It just, it just seemed like if, if we hadn't done anything up, in, like that's page 157, um, it just seems like there's nothing up until then that's edgy like that. But we need something that like trend, that says at the end of that sentence that says, um, this is stupid. See, if we had a live stream going, we could invite feedback. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad idea, actually. Um, but I have to... I, I don't understand live streaming very well. Well, maybe maybe we should put it out. We should put it out in our Facebook group. If you were replacing "well done," what would you replace it with? Yeah, <laughs> having having to click on twice as if you click the search result, and then Google displayed an intermediate page with a single link on it that said "go to this site." Be, how about because of course it did, or um, a single link that said "go to this site." How about um comma thanks? Okay, let's put that for now. You put that okay. in there. I'm putting it to the Facebook group while, while we're doing that. Okay, good. If you're replacing well dot in a book you wrote. Yeah. What would you put instead? <clears throat> and then I'll put here no co author credit for this. No <laughs> author credit for this. <laughs> See if we get any feedback from that. I'm just loading up the page now so that people on the video can see what you've done. But, oh yeah, we have our new cover logo too. Anyway. Uh, okay, so random individuals each day. Each week at least. Okay. E159. I'm sure that's okay. 159. Oh. <laughs> the next one is a good one. You'll like this. Check in one five in individuals. Oh, why can't I? Oh, wait a minute. Make part of your routine to check in with one to five random individuals each day. No, I think oh, it should okay. be each day. It should be each day. I think because so. some some people might not necessarily be able to keep up with that, and so I'm suggesting you know if you can't do it, 
at the least mill. each week, one to five individuals. You should, oh. you know, if you can't do it each day, rather, you should at least try each week. I'd like. I mean, I uh, my recommendation is 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 more frequent. So maybe make it part of your routine to check in with one to five. <clears throat> well, how about how about just change it with a handful of random individuals? Are, what are, we, are we talking about followers here? What are we talking about? You know what? If it says Community. one to five, is that what it says? It says one to five. Yeah. Okay, let's leave it that. Let one, that. one to five. And you should, maybe we, but maybe one person, right? Maybe we should change random individuals to community members. Well, no, because you could also try and, and invite new potential community members, right? Yeah, you go sourcing new people. So maybe you're right. Maybe how about, how about new, random individuals? Just seems like really now. Like now that I read it after having written it, because it's because I did that. Like one to five existing and potential community members. Is that too wordy? Yeah, it seems wordy. All right, let's leave it as I said. Yeah. Okay. You gonna delete that? No. Okay. I'll delete Here you it. go. By Mark Maffin. <laughs> Who the <laughs> hell was seriously that got in there? One sixty. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did that happen? I have no idea. Oh. That's, so, that's one of your plants. You're trying to. No, I wouldn't have planted that. That's funny. That. Canadian podcast because that was you guys that wasn't me I had nothing that to do with that yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you, you, you laid the tracks I had so I had four sevens great. at the time <clears throat> alright Mark well now it says Mark and Bob Goyetch it sounds like you're married well maybe it should Mark, Bob Goyetch and Mark then. Bob well do they know who oh Mark's experience yeah so we know who you oh yeah that's fine that's fine well Bob Goyetch it was created by Bob Goyetch yeah I would do Bob Goyetch and Mark okay just cause Mark and Bob Mark and Bob Goyetch sound like a married couple, even though you reference it. Um, 160, the books they loved and why they loved them, sure. Mark and, ooh, you misspelled your wife's name. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody doesn't love their spouse as much as the other. <laughs> um, the word rearrange is split across a rear range. Yes, it, it's line Re splits. So oh! Yeah. Re so it looks like rear range? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Take we a look at re it. Re this tool lets you set up content templates. Rear range. Oh, weird. Yeah, yeah. good call. Nice little chance, but I mean, we want to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. Um. Oh, God, does it look that bad? That image? Oh, no, it's not oh, too bad. Which image are you talking about? The one right underneath. It's not too bad. It's a little blurry. It's not too bad. They put a shadow on it, I think. Or did I do that? I don't know. Whatever. Um, other team tools like CMS systems lack. Team tools, which other... Oh, CMS is, yeah. Good call. He also did the podcast on my site. He has the podcast on his site. Where's they were associated? Yeah, so what we're doing here is changing my and I because it's co-authors. Worst they were associating his. Worst commenters were associating his. Yeah, I know what this is about. Variable font. Oh, yeah, you'll want to take a look at this. It's on page 168. And you'll see how everything, because it's a variable, variable what do they call it? Variable text, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see what part you're... If you look at in the middle of the page where it says swarm. Yeah. And it's vertically stacked. Yeah. Right, but the because S is narrower than W, everything shifts over. It seems to me if you're going to stack it like this, it should be per, all the hyphens should be de lined up. Swarm should be like letters should be centered over uh, each other. I don't know about going to the publisher with that. That, uh, that I wouldn't have even caught that as an eyeball. I that might they might think that's too picky of us. That's really picky. Yeah, but I'm I'm picky about design. Uh, but it's not. I don't think it's a bad design. Thing. Why don't Why don't we hear? You know what? I'm going to screenshot it and put it in the group. And yeah, done. Uh, yeah. But screenshot it with the with the paragraph before and the paragraph after. Oh, okay. So so people can see it in context. Okay. This is good. We're using. We get to use our Facebook group for some. I know. Cool stuff now. Yeah. Has anybody responded to my? Uh, I don't know. Let me check. I'm having alignment issues here. There we go. Um, Maybe I need to share this. I don't. Uh, when you say Facebook group, you mean our page, right? Yeah. Sorry, I just I say group. I don't see it. 
I don't, I don't see it on our page. You want to see the post I just did? If you were spacing well done, a book you wrote, or replacing it? No. I don't. I don't. Um, I'm going to post it on my on my personal page. Yeah. Well, if you do a... Yeah, you don't see it. No. Um, it, was up, it was put up six minutes ago by Mark Blevis. Well, I'll check again once I'm out of this dialogue, but I didn't see it. Help needed. Oops. Ah. Does the formatting of the five-point list look weird to you? So if somebody has liked my, because I put it up on my own timeline, but anyone, anyone, and somebody liked it, it's like, no, I don't want you to yeah, like know. I want an answer to the post. So what am I saying? Do you think it's important that the first word in each point is aligned, or does this look okay? All right. A post on my page. So let me just go back to the book. Are you, are you putting it on Touch Academy? I put it on uh, Touch. Whoops. We'll touch the book. T on the, on, on the, Facebook? On the fa yeah, on pages. Wait a minute. We don't have Touch the Book. No, it's Touch Academy. It's Touch Academy. Yeah. Where did you post it? I put it at the very top. Uh, uh, of, of Touch Academy? It's yeah. not. It's not there. I'm scrolling all the way down. It was posted seven minutes ago. Let me look at the activity log. I'll refresh. <clears throat> yeah, like the top, the top one. That, you're on a different page, I think. The top one was the was the two page tease we did. Hold on. Do I send SMS? What the heck? There you go. Try that. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, hang on, I'm just going to copy that. Arg. Where did you send that to me? In messages? I have so many chat in windows. In, 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 uh, in Skype. In Skype, okay. <laughs> I have three chat windows open. Uh, there we go. That's the one. Come on, mother... Oh, I don't swear. Okay. If you're replacing... So... I can see that post. I swear to God, I it's not like... I see the post that you sent me on the individual page, but it, it's, it's not showing up on the page for me. That's really weird. That is weird. Anyway. It makes me feel like I'm invisible. Uh, maybe you didn't pay your Facebook fee this month. Oh, it's, it's a fair fee now? <laughs> <Tell me this laughs> <for me. laughs> All right, let's see what else have we got here. Well, let's come back to that one then once we get some feedback on it. I, I think it's fine, personally. Right. Um, in my experience, yeah, in our, our experience, good. In most cases, I've seen, most cases we see. In one day, a Facebook page, we... Moderate for yeah one seventy five. Well, that's referring to your company. Uh, so they. But they instead of we yeah. Does it say our company though? Yeah, what well, says we? Are, well, yeah. Like, does it, it identify? Like managing. If you look at the sentence before, it sets up that it's Todd's company in HQ. One day Facebook. Blah blah blah. They moderate yeah. One day. Oh man, I'm so glad you you caught these. Those are embarrassing. Don't be embarrassed. I mean, they were, you originally wrote them in the first person, right? So Yeah. Make Online is engaging in a conversation about Make Online isn't getting ensnared. Ooh, I like that. In lots of ways. There are many ways. You don't like lots of ways. No, I just... Okay. And this behavior is embraced by services. This behavior is facilitated by services. Sure. Imagine if friend like and... Imagine if... The friend like because oh, it refers to the buttons. Imagine if friend like oh. and share buttons. So oh. I said imagine if the friend like and, and share buttons. Yeah, good call. Thank you, Jane and Mark. Accepted. Really can show them better. Building effort rather than reflexive network building. Reflexive. Well, it's kind of like it's a reflex. Just like oh, accept. Oh, send. Right, that kind of thing. And complete with the actions I just did, by the way. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, that works. Okay. Um, mindless, mindless network. No, well, reflexive is good. Kicked off an exchange, which for off an interesting exchange in the last. Oh, that was that's my story. I just it, it, exchange sounded like it could have been confrontational, but it wasn't. Yeah. Lucy describes nice. Class two dots can provide you, yeah, yeah, HR exec. So have we identified Jill as an HR exec previously then? Yeah, and uh, like several pages earlier, she's identified. Yeah. And the same Dan Pontrefact in another couple okay. lines there. Okay. Turns out the eight hour. Yeah, you don't like my... Um, uh, well, it's, it's a conversational, and I totally get that. And saying it that way is one way, but just in the book, I just kind of feel like it's a bit clunky if we don't don't use proper sentence structure. Yeah, I know. Call me a, a no. It's okay. Picture. I don't mind. Hey, I, let's see if we got uh, comments on this yet. No, not yet. Oh, you know what? What? I got a notification for it being posted. Weird. Uh, okay, let's go back again. Oh, I have too many windows open. You don't have what we call, yeah. So, so, so this is the weird box that we found. Yeah, that's the weird box. So the weird black box. So maybe we should ask them because because at the bottom of two hundred eight continues at the top of two hundred ten. So two hundred nine is clearly like a sidebar. So maybe we should say you know it, we recommend a some kind of header or something. Recommend some kind of header. Well, I don't, I don't know if it needs a header. If it's a call-in like this, it looks like a call-in. But the question is... You know what the funny thing is? When I read the book, it's like, oh my god, we wrote that? I don't even remember writing half this stuff. And I mean, I know you wrote half of it, but sometimes it's like, well, this is clearly in an area that I'd be working. I know, did eh? Did put this in here? Or did I, I have the totally the same. Totally randomly write sections for us. Well... Yeah, I know. Like, I had to read this through a couple of times to figure out, like, is this my material? I actually Googled a specific phrasing here because I thought maybe it was a quote or something, but no. It's just, and now that, I, now that I'm kind of into it, I remember writing this, but yeah, there's a lot. I mean, well, you we started writing this a year ago, right? So. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's funny, and, and I'll tell, you know, because I was a police fan, so people who know me are going to moan when they hear this, but it used to always bother me when I would hear interviews, they would go, oh, I don't even remember who wrote this song. It's like, well, of course Sting wrote this song. It's like, and then, then with our book, it's like, well, did I write that or did Todd write that? So it's like, <laughs> I get this thing where people don't remember what they wrote. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have one vote on the alignment so far. It's my friend Corey. I'd personally prefer the acronym letters line up with each other. More. Yes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not done. Okay. More centered than justified, if that makes sense. Yeah, so he wants the letters stacked up on top of each other. So the S would be centered over the W, right, um, rather than left aligned. Oh, we can't. That's they're they're not going to do that. That's like yeah, literally. You should put it in the table. Just create you, you create the table. You have the oh, the I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, uh, Sorry. we got another vote that says I like. This is from my friend Sean. I like the look of aligned text. I mean, you've put a lot of thought into the content of the text, so why not snazzy it up by aligning it? It appears to be more authentic when it's aligned. All right, fine. Uh, you win that battle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Sean. <clears throat> be nice to Corey. He's a client, too, as well as a friend. Why? Well, uh, didn't I meet him in Winnipeg? Oh, yeah, that's right. We went out for dinner with Corey. Yeah. Okay, so, so this 209 block... We need we need something on it like a header or a yeah because it is kind of out of place yeah if we if we, you don't have to you know, that by flicking through you're going to change your filter you're going to you're going to let this people that's on the that people also oh god that is did I mean to I must have meant to make that a run on sentence that whole first paragraph is just two sentences anyway I yeah, it's okay. Um, you're blind. Uh, uh, so yeah, we need to, I think, suggest a, a header in there. How about a We're void? We're lots of comments now. You, you, you worry about that. I'm going to read the comments. Okay. Um, insert one above. 
209 header needs a header to describe this section seems out of place without a header. Oh, you know what else the problem with this is? Mark, what? Yeah. Um, there's eyes in here. You cannot have what I call feel the dreams. Yeah, or did no, you that, catch that, those? No, actually, I flagged those. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you don't good. Have what I call Atna. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to put that we want a header that says avoiding Atna or something like that. Okay. So I'm going to just italicize those. Thanks. Fact is, oh, yeah, we're on this. Oh, we're almost done. Given the choice to choose, given the opportunity to choose, sure. Registering a complete well, choice, choice to choose just sounds weird, right? Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. You're right. Um, well, not completing directly. Oh, look at somebody knows the difference between I E and E G. <laughs> Bastard. Um, and you and you did the punctuation. Like this is actually these two are exactly accurate. I'm impressed. I dot E dot comma. I like it. So we've referenced what Dan's job is. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, where did we reference it? Because I think his job has changed since I interviewed him. Okay. Uh, well, it's easy to find. Dan Contra Fact. Page 21 and 26. 21 and obviously cultural change. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you know what? This is, this is fine. I must have updated it because that's what he's doing now. Okay. Yeah. So that was two nineteen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Good call. Pricing. Oh yeah. Good idea. Uh, low resolution. B. Yeah. Call out. Good. As a human problem made possible. Two forty five. Uh, 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 two forty five. Oh, it's a human. Or human, I don't know, human activity. It's not a problem. Oh, here it is. It's, a, become, it's become a cultural phenomenon that people take existing works and incorporate them. Oh. Well, it is a human. It's a legal problem. Ah. Right? It's a legal... Good catch. So, they take existing works and incorporate... Take existing works... Take existing... Tri uh... But it's not even, like, it's, it's kind of like, it's like a human, it's a human desire, a human interest, it's a human activity, it's a human, you know, that's what I was trying to say is, it's, it's something that's made possible by technology. It's only a legal problem because people have chosen to make it so. Yeah. Uh, it's become a cultural phenomenon that people take existing, even that's a little, I, I could have been better with that, that people take existing legal, they, they take existing corporate assets, where assets is wordy. To, to take trademarked trademarked material and incorporate them into new creative works. Um, second. Uh, I think the reason why I didn't put trademark is because it's not strictly trademarked works or copyrighted. I, mean, I guess everything is copyrighted works. Maybe it's take Intellectual property. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, intellectual property. Okay. Boy, you're popular on Facebook. I posted to Facebook on nothing. You posted to Facebook and things just go up crazy. Well, <clears throat> when you got all this working for you. Holy crap, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna gotta make a, make a new. Are they all on your site? What do you mean, are they all on my side? You know what I mean. No, I haven't looked at them all. Oh. Uh, but there are enough of them are on my side that I, I felt they're <laughs> important and good. The indentation, Rod says, the indentation throws me off. I would justify. Also, caps are about half full. Uh, maybe a phone, you could try, yeah. Okay. All right. All right, all right. Shane, Rod, Sean, Corey.
Yeah. Maybe I should call it a creative activity. Because no. that's really what it is. People do it for creative reasons. Yeah, right? but, 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 but I think we need to say that, it, that, it, that it's a problem for companies. Because the next sentence is, but just because it's a problem, you don't have to do anything with it, right? And a human problem is not accurate. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so it's become a cultural phenomenon that people take intellectual property and incorporate them into new creative works. We already have creative there. It's a legal, it's a legal problem. So how about for many organizations, for many organizations, it's a legal problem. Does that sound right? Made, made yeah, possible it's a, it, by, it's a yeah, no, that's a right on it. It's not quite it. It's a human possible, it's a human problem made possible. So it, okay, well why don't we just reword the whole thing. So it's become a cultural phenomenon that people take intellectual property and incorporate them into new creative works. How about, this scares a lot of lawyers. Well, and if, but I want to make sure that we have here, because the, the number one is technology. I want to make sure we make reference to the fact that it's, you know, new technology has made this possible. There you go, put that in. New, well, new, new technology. But it's not, I don't know, it's, it's not that new. Well, yeah. new technologies have made it more... Interesting. I don't know. So because like when you think about the like, garage band, well, then we put it in the previous that. sentence. Then right, it's become a cultural phenomenon that people use new technology to incorporate intellectual property into new creative works. Oh wait a second! What oh. did you just say? It's Hold it's become. Oh, what the hell did I just say? <laughs> it's become a cultural. It's, let's drop. It's become. Let's just rewrite this whole thing. Yeah, well, hold on. You, you, I think you opened up with technology. You said something. Yeah, like, no, I got it. So it's a it's a cultural phenomenon that people use technology use. to incorporate existing. No, incorporate to, to intellectual, property. intellectual property into new creative works. Right. It's and become a cultural phenomenon that people use, I, I want to say like cool technology or simple technology or, I don't know, use technology to incorporate intellectual property into new creative works. Ever-evolving technology? It's getting a little wordy. Yeah, I'll just leave it as technology. Yeah. And then we had... Uh, and then, and so into, into new creative works. Yeah. Yeah. How about the next sentence is, this scares a lot of lawyers. This scares a lot of lawyers. Period. And, and uh, we should put brands and lawyers. Sure. Yeah. Period. Yeah. But remember, and then the rest of it. Yeah. But remember, not every use of your property needs to have action taken against it. Which also seems a little weird. This this this, this takeaways page, the legal one was the hardest one for. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm so speaking of these little fingers. So I'm playing this video game last night called Far Cry Blood Dragon, and I've noticed there's a little there's a, there's a little um, Easter egg in it. After the, you gotta look at my camera to see this, all right. Yeah. So after the guy shoots, because you, you see it from his perspective, like one out of fifty times, like it rarely happens. But after the guy shoots, he goes like this to the dead body, and then you like you just barely see it. He's like, and then he moves on. <laughs> uh, all right. So we have here Blake. All right, so we're leaving that uh, that other sentence. Remember that not every use of your property needs to have legal action. Yeah. Uh, I should say but remember. Really? We need but? But I think there's something else that's wrong with the sentence. Of remember that not every use of your property requires action. Requires not, not every... Remember that not every unauthorized use... Uh, remember, remember, comma, not every unauthorized use of your brand imagery 
might be better than property because we've used intellectual property. Come on. God, I need Remember, time. comma, not every unauthorized use of your <laughs> Shane Gibson has even um, has even let me find it here has even actually like dummied up the alignment no oh, really yeah <laughs> so, uh, there are every authorized use of your Brand collateral? No, is it your no name? brand imagery. Well, but sometimes it isn't imagery. Sometimes it could be audio. Uh, yeah. It is imagery, right? Let's put it brand imagery. Let's put it brand imagery. Requires action. Legal action. Legal action. Or demands. That demands. Yeah, I like demands. Legal action. Okay. There we go. Uh, Two forty-eight. 248. Oh, did they, was there a formatting glitch? Well, it's, it, it, I like the way they did the letter at the beginning of the book, and then they did something completely different at the end of the book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did the letter, letter like, at the dear, beginning, It says, right? Dear Leader is a heading rather than as part of the body text. A letter from you to us, and then Dear Leader. Yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, it should look like a letter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice call. Um, <clears throat> them through operations... <coughs> they with those with whom starting with yeah so those with whom groovy well I hope they're I hope they're not uh, overwhelmed by the so now you're going to read the whole book and come up with a list too <laughs> I don't have time I mean I've read I should read the whole book front to back actually I need to I should make time for that when do we have to get this to them by well, I told them they have a, an editorial meeting today at four, and I thought it'd be great if we can get this to them by then. I, I'm, I, oh, and it's oh, it's almost two there, isn't it? Um, yeah. I I think it's better to get it to them early. I, it's doubtful yeah. whether I'll have time to read it, and I'm confident in your in your abilities. So, I, I, why don't we send it to them? Okay, and the other thing is, there's still going to be another round that we have to go through, and presumably they'll be less caught at that point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so hey, hey, did you okay. notice? Did you notice that? Um, I just saw this in the fine print on like the inside pages. Did we get a Canada Council for the Arts grant? They must have to produce this. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We acknowledge the financial support of government through the book fund. Oh, yeah, it must be. Wow. Interesting. I don't know if that's hindrance or if it's good. Oh, yeah, it's fine. The book's yeah, being fair. published, though. So. Yeah. Doesn't matter to me. Um, so here, so I'll tell you something, and you can decide whether you want to put this out on, on uh, as part of the video or not. 